the pride of life. You know, the pride of life is most dangerous. That's why people want title, they want position, they want recognition. Do you know there are many sincere believers? They've never dealt. They've never separated themselves from this world. You, you separate from the values of this world and you separate yourself unto God. That's why it says, do not be conformed, be transformed. You don't just stay away from the world by doing all the, I cannot do this, I cannot do that, I cannot drink, I cannot go to nightclub. Those are all negatives. Many Christians are good at the negatives. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't take drugs. Excuse me, that's not Christianity. What do you do? Do you have the poor? Are you kind? Are you serving people? Ah, notice, God's command is always for our good. You guard your heart daily. You know why? The world is passing away and it's lost. But the one who does the will of God will live forever. The next verb is exactly the same grammar. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That word be transformed is where you have the word metamorphosis. Grammatically, it simply means this. Present tense. Be transformed daily. Ah, it's in the passive voice. You don't transform yourself. You allow an outside force and you cooperate with it to be changed. Ah, so the secret of transformation is not in yourself. It is in the passive voice. You allow God's spirit, God's word, and God's people to impact your life. Everybody, let's read this fast. Whenever a man turns to the Lord, the veil, your blindness, is taken away. Now the Lord is the Holy Spirit. And where the Holy Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. But we all with unveiled, no more blindness, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are be everybody read now, are being transformed, metamorphosized, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory as from the Lord, the Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit that you allow God to transform your life. But the Holy Spirit only works many times in conjunction with the Word of God. Notice Romans 12 verse 2. What does it mean? How are you transformed? Together, if you don't mind. Together. Do not be conformed to this world. Grammatically, stop copying. In other words, they are already copying. Grammatically, they are already copying. So, the Bible says, stop it. Stop copying. Stop allowing yourself to be pressured. Be transformed. Allow yourselves to be transformed daily. By the, everybody, this is the secret. By the renewing of your mind. In other words, the mind is crucial. Do you notice how the book of Romans was written? Doctrine before duty. Notice, creed before conduct. Chapter 1 to chapter 11 is all about doctrine. Then you have duty. Belief before behavior. That's the ways of the Lord. So, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. If your mind believes in something that is wrong, you will never be changed. Because your mind is crucial. And Satan has captured the mind of many Christians today, especially young people. You are believing a lie. You don't even know it. Do you understand when Jesus tells us in John, do you remember what Jesus said? You will know the truth and what will happen. You will know the truth in John chapter 8. You will know the truth and everybody read, and the truth will make you free. How do you know the truth? How do you know? Think about it. Is it from human opinion? Is it from religion? Is it from the writings of 
smart people? Is it from movie actors? Is it from rich people? Is it from the majority decision? It is based on what is popular? Excuse me. Lose. You have, to, you have to decide. You have to decide who will decide truth for you. Who? In my case, I made a decision years ago. I've decided truth. Truth. Listen to me. Comes from, what is this? God's word. Why? We have a study on this. You study archaeology, geography, internal evidence, prophecy, Israel. Why do I believe the Bible? Because it is the truth. And that's why to be transformed, you got to study the Bible. Look at the book of Joshua, chapter 1. Everybody read this. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. You shall, everybody read, please. You shall meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. Then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have success.